What does asking your child to pick up after themselves, do chores, and say please and thank you have to do with eating, sleeping, safety, hygiene, and toileting? If you're a parent of a pathologically demand avoidant child or teen, the answer is everything. And here's the causality that will help you understand the logic of why this matters. Okay, so if your child has a stickiest basic need where they're having trouble accessing eating, they have had a toileting regression, they are moving into a non 24 hour sleep cycle, they aren't safe and they won't brush their teeth or bathe, then we have to look at the overall picture of nervous system activation and how that's disabling them from accessing their basic needs. So every time we as parents or teachers or therapists are making them do something like pick up after themselves, say please and thank you, do chores, it activates the nervous system because it's perceived as a loss of equality to you and autonomy. This builds in the system to the point where they are disabled from accessing their basic needs. So what can we do about it? We can actually lower those demands in other areas of their lives so that cumulative nervous system activation goes down and they have a much easier time accessing the things they need and want to do.